know, caring about salmon can help you care about redwood trees or kingfisher birds or insects or river otters. If you have any interest in preserving wildlife on the, on the coast of California, salmon are really a species to put your effort behind. Salmon go on an extraordinary journey, taking them full circle, from birth in their home streams to their return, all ending with procreation and death. This journey can take up to 8,000 miles. They travel instinctively between freshwater and saltwater, thriving in each, having a keen mastery over both realms. Salmon are destined to go against the flow of nature, to swim upstream, leap up waterfalls, defying gravity in their journey to their freshwater birthplace, where they breed and die fulfilling an enchanting life cycle, enriching the entire ecosystem around them. The miraculous thing about coho is that they bring nutrients from the ocean that would otherwise not be here. So we call them a keystone species for that reason, that they are ultimately huge sacks of fertilizer that come up from the ocean every winter, and when they spawn, they die. But that's sort of the miracle about them, is that when they die, their bodies are littered all around the stream, all around the riparian area, and anything that's a carnivore or an omnivore will come and, and feast on, on their carcasses. And that delivers these rare nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen back into the freshwater environment that would otherwise just be moving out and never coming back. Despite their resilience, salmon have had to face obstacles threatening their survival. Throughout California, salmon are endangered because of uh, a loss of habitat. Most of that habitat has been lost because of dams on rivers. In Marin County, it's also true that the main reason that salmon are endangered are because of dams on Lagunitas Creek. Big dams, whether they're concrete or earth, uh, that don't allow any passage, those are a problem because the habitat is completely cut off behind them. California would not be what it was if we didn't have dams. We would not have the support of the people we have, um, especially the locations that they're in, and also the agricultural systems. The disruption to river systems is beyond repair. The major dams on the river are still there. There have been a lot of barriers, smaller barriers, that have been removed. Those are allowing fish to get up into some of the smaller streams, but still salmon are blocked from about 50% of the Lagunese Creek watershed that they used to have access to. If we were to lose the salmon, we would lose a way of connecting the next generation to the natural world. The worst of the habitat loss has already happened. And at this point, the strategy is to improve the remaining habitat for fish. One project that restored habitat to the Coho salmon of Marin County was the removal of the dam on the former San Geronimo golf course. We had to pull out the dam and rebuild the creek itself. The stream that was blocked by the dam is a crucial breeding ground for local coho populations, being the best of the remaining stream systems in Marin County. The blockage of the system had detrimental effects on Marin's ecosystem, pushing such a vital and meaningful species to the brink of extinction. Uh, we've removed the dam, we've opened the channel, we've completely restored it, and now we're putting in a brand new pedestrian bridge to link trails on either side of the creek. So we're expecting maybe 500 fish coming up. Oh, wow. Up this creek? Up this little creek. You know, with some rain, when the creek swells up, this thing becomes a river. Now fish can pass through all, all times of year, no matter the life stage, and the riparian is growing in pretty nice. So in 10 years, we won't even know anything happened there. Along with the removal of the San Geronimo Dam, the County of Marin has put in an ordinance to stop the development near the creek, helping improve salmon habitats. Over the last you know, 23 years, I've seen development encroaching on that creek and habitat quality going down. 
So I, I think it's a great idea to have an ordinance that um, sort of keeps development farther away from that creek. The most important role that salmon play around here is as environmental ambassadors. The greatest benefit is the benefit to people's imagination and people's connection with nature. My hope is that with more care to restoring complex habitats that are connected, we can restore diversity in salmon populations, which will allow them to buffer against environmental variation and be resilient. They connect the ocean to fresh water. They're an important connection in the food web. They're a really great way to understand the cycle of life and the interconnectedness of all things.